My name is Steven and this is video number 14 in my new series called Introduction to Code Igniter. Um, introduction to Code Igniter. Yes, that's what this video series is. Um, in this video we'll be talking about uh, helpers. We're going to auto load a helper and we're going to uh, the HTML helper. I'll teach you guys about the HTML helper. It's pretty basic. Um, it's not exactly useless, but it's actually kind of cool. So why don't we just get, get right into it. First thing we want to do is we want to auto load it because I'm going to use this in multiple views and I don't want to have to load it every time. So what I'll do is I'll go to config, auto load. Um, actually, I'm going to clean this up a bit. Excuse me for my mess. Okay. Now ignore that. Um, okay. The HTML helper is loaded simply by HTML. If that's all we need to put in there, so we'll save this. Next thing we want to do is we'll go into our content sections. No, first thing we'll do the header. Um, and I'll show you why. So we'll go site underscore header. This doc type HTML. This is for HTML5. But um, CodeGnitor does have its own function for this. It's kind of cool and I'll show you what it looks like. So instead of putting doc type HTML, we put open our PHP tags. Then we will go doc type. We'll actually echo this. Then in here, we go HTML save it up and now if we go to say our about page and this should be loading that header view and into the page source you can actually see that it's loading doc type HTML so we're using code igniter this uh, it's echoing out the doc type for HTML5 if you didn't know what it was and this actually works um, for HTML4 strict HTML4 transitional like XHTML1.0 1.0 strict and things like that. For more information, check out the user guide on CodeIgniter. Um, aside from that, there's actually a couple other couple other things we can use for use the HTML helper for, and I'll show you what that is. If we go into the content and about content about and content home pages, you can see that we're, this is full of header or it has some header one tags in it. Instead of header one, we can actually do something different. I'll show you. Open up our PHP tags. And instead of having header or h1 tags, we can actually do this. I'll show you. Echo heading. About page. It takes two parameters. The first is the, or it can take three of them. Yeah. Um, the first one is the actual text that goes inside the heading tag, so the content of it. The second is what type is it an H1, an H2, an H3? In this case, it's an H1, so all we do is put one. And the second would be any external styling we had, or any external attributes. So, like if we had an H1 with a class of something and a style of something, we could actually go like could name the class right here. And it would be like class is equal to big H1 or you know whatever you want to do there but in this case we don't have to worry about that so we'll save this up delete about page and I'm actually just going to copy this onto the home page too so we have consistency and stuff just call this home save them both and we'll check it out see if it actually works sure enough that uh, function that we're the function that we're using there is if we check out the page source, come back here. That h1 tag is right here, and it's an h1, and the content is in there. So this function works exactly the same as typing an h1 tag. Um, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I, why wouldn't I just put an h1 tag? Um, the reason is, the plain reason for that is, is you can actually put variables in here. If you were to say 
call this title. Let's say title is equal to about page. Save that. It that makes it a lot easier to pass in variables into this view and use them without having to echo out any variables. Not that that's a difficult thing to do, but this is just another way to do it. Um, so we'll test this out on the about page. And sure enough, it's loading that lowercase stuff that I just typed into that variable and then pass the variable into this function. So um, hopefully that's a pretty good explanation or that'll get you started with the HTML helper. Um, for more information and things like that, there's like you can do break tags, you can do image tags, things like that. Um, but check out the user guide on codeigniter.com. That'll uh, take you to the next level with the HTML helper. And thanks for watching.